All right, we'll go ahead and get started with our media availability here. I'd like to welcome Zachary Clayman DeMello, a driver of the number 13 PaySafe Honda for Ray Hall, Letterman, Lanigan Racing. Welcome, making your Verizon IndyCar Series debut this weekend. How does it feel so far? I'm really excited so far. It's been a great weekend, a great test day yesterday. I can't thank PaySafe and Bobby enough for getting me in the number 13 car. It's been really exciting. Um, without PaySafe, it wouldn't have been possible, so I'm just really happy to be here. You finished fifth in the Indy Lights Championship this year, your second season in Indy Lights. You have now win at Road America. So obviously, and it's, it's been a rather quick ascension up the open wheel ladder for you. I mean, you were in karting not too long ago, some Skip Barber went in Indy Lights. Have you been surprised with how quick the progression has been? Yeah, the jump's been really quick. I mean, I'd like to say I skipped a few steps. Um, don't always know if it was the right idea, but I've just kind of done the best I can with it. It hasn't always been easy at points, but I've learned a lot throughout it. Um, I'm really excited to be here. It's obviously a huge learning curve, jumping up from Skip Barber to Indy Lights to this. So um, I'm really excited and looking forward to showing that I deserve to be here. And that leads right into my next question. What do you hope or what are you looking to accomplish this weekend? Um, my goal is probably to just learn as much as I can, come in with an open mind and prepare as best as I can for next year. I think it's tough to set a goal as a rookie, so I just want to learn as much as I can and obviously finish as high as I can because I'm very competitive, but if I could learn a lot for next year and progress every session, I'd be happy with that. And one other question before we open it up to the media. Uh, I know there's some significance with your car number, uh, car number 13 you're driving this weekend. If you could explain the, the significance behind that. Um, yeah, my grandmother got freed from the Holocaust on Friday the 13th, and the numbers on her arm all added up to 13, so it's been a lucky number for me my whole life, so I've always ran it through karting in every series I've raced. That's great. Great that you can continue it this weekend. So let's go ahead and open it up for questions. We do have a handheld mic, so some questions for Zach. So. Is this your, your rookie, of course? Is this your first time racing at Sonoma, or have you raced here in another series? No, I've never raced here before. Crazy track. Very exciting, has a bit of everything, uphill, downhill, a lot of big breakings and high-speed corners, so I've really enjoyed it so far. Is there any other track you can compare it to? It's similar to Road America, um, probably a bit more difficult, but yeah. More questions for Zach? We'll get down here to Josh, and then to Mary. Zachary, um, while moving up to, to IndyCar is obviously in your plans, would spending another another um, get another year in any lights to be able to get uh, to have a shot at, at the at the million dollar Mazda scholarship money, and also that would kind of be the last thing you would have to do in any lights before you take, make make that next step. So would would another year in any lights be a, um, be okay with you? Um, I think IndyCar is my main goal at the moment. I'm not opposed to doing another year of Indy lights, and that's what I need to do. I'll definitely do it. Um, I think winning the championship would be nice for me, nice for my resume, and just showing that I do I can win the championship and I do deserve to be an IndyCar, but IndyCar is still my goal, but if I have to do another year of lights, I'm definitely not opposed to it. Thank you. Mary? Um, Zach, can you tell us uh, how we should pronounce your last name? Is it both words? Uh, yeah, Clayman DeMella. Okay. And um, you did a number of laps yesterday. Uh, you know, I, I hear from drivers that you can't really prepare your body for the g-forces on your neck and shoulders so are you feeling the effects from yesterday or are you okay a little bit tight but overall i've been really prepared physically i've been in the gym a lot leading up to this race um, i've been training with a lot of other athletes hockey players like chris Tang and a lot of football players torello and so i've trained as best as i can and tried to be as prepared as i can for this race so overall everything's been okay so far and you know it's a big learning curve for you because you have to learn a new car and and how it uh, handles. I understand the Indy cars have a lot more downforce than the uh, lights cars. Um, have you gotten uh, in your one test day yesterday, maybe morning practice this morning? Have you have you gotten to follow close to another car to see what the air turbulence was like? Um yeah, I got close to a few cars this morning. Um, I thought it would be worse, maybe. I'll find out more in the race, but at the minute it feels okay, and I'm pretty confident with running nearby other cars. Uh, Wolfgang? Yeah, um, Zachary also lights is just one step down to IndyCar from the sporting point of view. Is there a problem to adopt to IndyCars? What, what's your biggest challenge when you go from Indy lights to IndyCar? Company? 
Um, there's definitely a lot more downforce. It's a softer tire, so I think just realizing how much speed you can carry into the corner, how much later you can break, and how much you can really push this car has been a big adjustment. Um, I think there's a few times where I didn't realize what I could really do with the car, and I'm still coming to grips with that. So every session I'm learning more and more and understanding what I could do. And I'm assuming this afternoon you get a chance to maybe run a stint on the, the uh, alternate tires as well and learn even more. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, I've heard a lot about the red tires, so I'm looking forward to getting on them and seeing what I can do. More questions? Oh, let's go over here back to Tony. Uh, Zach, what, how is uh, Graham to learn from as a teammate? What kind of uh, advice has he given you? Have you kind of talked to him much beyond just the initial debriefs? Yeah, he's been really helpful off the track, um, really supportive about doing this in the rookie, especially in the debriefs. Whenever I need help with something or don't understand something, he's been there and helped me through it. Um, looked at some on board with him, looked at that, and more than anything, just having an experienced teammate who gives good feedback with the car and stuff is good, so I could try the same things. I mean, I'm doing what I need to do, and he's doing what he needs to do, but stuff he does to the car helps me sometimes also. Joey? What did you learn from maybe this morning's sessions that you didn't catch in testing yesterday? It's quick. Um, there's not a lot of time to make too many changes. You go out and you really need to put the lap together, which maybe I didn't do this morning. So I think you just need to go out and get everything done as soon as possible, and there's not really much time to waste. Well, let's go back to Wolfgang. Uh, can you give some details how this deal with where Letton and Lennigan came together? It's an approach uh, you or who came to them? Or? Um, yeah, I was speaking to a few teams leading up to this race, and Ray Hall seemed like the best fit for me, and they obviously run a very professional operation. Um, Bobby does a great job, and he's been really helpful at Bay Safe. I mean, they've worked really well together, and they had a lot of things that were beneficial for Pay Safe and beneficial for me, so I knew it was a good fit right away. More questions for Zachary? Come back down to Mary. I understand that PaySafe is originally a British company. Uh, have they sponsored you uh, before now, before this weekend? Yeah, we work together at Indy Lights, so it's super nice to continue this partnership with them. Um, they have an office in England and an office in Montreal, so PaySafe's just been really great with me through Indy Lights, and to continue with PaySafe and the IndyCar has been great, and hopefully we could do something again next year. As someone growing up in Montreal, uh, your heroes and influences in, for you in racing? Um, my favorite drivers would really have to be Fernando Alonso and Mike Wilson. Um, not many people know Mike Wilson, but he coached me for a long time. He was a six-time world champion in karting, uh, the most world championships ever. So they're, they're my two favorite drivers, and Mike's taught me a lot, so it's nice. Any more questions for Zachary? Well, that will wrap it up. Thank you very much. Good luck the rest of the weekend. Thank you.